Hey everybody, um, I, I'm going to do a uh, video for you guys uh, and correct something I said about the 2.0. Well, got to tip down too far, so let's tip you up. So, oh, come on. Get my finger out of the way here. So, uh, the 1.0 and 2.0 have a difference in front chain ring of the 2.0 is 56 and the 1.0 is 53. There's a tire size difference. The 1.0 being four points, four inches, and the 2.0 being three inches. So, I originally told you they fixed the problem of the gear ratio not being tall enough when actually they made it worse. Because the 4.0, the four inch tires on this bike are taller than the three inch tires on the 2.0. So tire size and wheel size plays an important uh, role in final drive uh, ratios. So uh, I have it printed out here. I'm not going to try to make this too long, but basically they made the problem worse by going to a smaller tire size. They could have fixed the problem by going to uh, leaving the tire size alone, but they didn't. So. Some of you are going to go, uh, why did they do that? And I go, I'm not sure. Well, they had to, they had to change the front chain ring size in order to get anywhere near that 28 mile per hour claim top speed. Um, you're not going to get that typically on the flat with just throttle unless you're a hundred pounds. So, uh, the, Theoretically, at 90 uh, revolutions per minute of pedaling, you're going to get 24 miles an hour on the 1.0. And on the 2.0, the same 90 RPM is going to get you 21 miles an hour. So, uh, those of you that are uh, thinking, well, now what do I do? You can put the four inch tires on it. They're actually going to be taller than these four inch tires because the rim is going to be narrower. So it's going to cause the tire to be taller. So, so the final drive ratios are, I mean, the final gear ratios are, are quite a bit different. And I'm going to show you on this piece of paper, I have to bring it around and try to get it in focus for you to read. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't bring my glasses, so I'm going to have to stand way away from it to get it in focus. So, I could not find the exact gear ratios, but I was just concerned with the um, highest gear. So, uh, that is correct. It's a 53 by 14 for this bike and a 53, 56 by 14 for the 2.0. So, let me bring this around and show you. My neighbors are all looking at me strange because I'm talking to myself. Uh, so, let's see which way do I need to go. So, if you're looking uh, at the top, the left column is the 1.0 and the right column is the 2.0. So, we have a total top gear of 91 on the... Uh, 1.0 and a top gear of 88 on the 2.0 which equals to what I was talking about so the darn wind uh, uh, I well we got you can pause the video and look at it so they actually made the problem worse um now some of you are going to find say, well, I'll just change that free will. And there is some options out there. You can get 11 to 28 tooth and I think the 11 to 32 tooth. I would not buy the 32 tooth. It's going to be uh, a really low gear, probably unusable low gear. 
unless you're trying to climb up the side of a building. Uh, so the 11 to 28 would be, would be uh, I think, closer to, uh, on this bike would be closer to 110 gear inches, so you'd gain quite a bit. Uh, and on the uh, 2.0 would probably be in the 106 range, so you'd still gain quite a bit. Uh, it'd be more at 90 RPMs, you'd probably be closer to 31 or 32 miles an hour on the 1.0, and about I think I seen 28 miles an hour on the 2.0. So, uh, other than that, uh, the changes are are. They had to change that front chain ring on the uh, 2.0. 2 they would have been lucky to get, uh, hmm, uh, with a 53 by uh, 14. Uh, you would have been lucky if it would have been in the 80 gear inch range, which would have been top speed around 18, 18 miles an hour that, for a person to, to pedal. Normal RPM range for a non-elite cyclist is between 60 and 100. For an elite cyclist, they may be able to maintain 130 for a while, but it's going to be one of those tough things. But for me and you, 60 to 180 being the optimum for most people. Some people are going to, as you get older, you may slow down even a little bit more. So. 80 RPMs uh, on this this bike would mean about 21 miles an hour, and on a uh, in the top gear with on um, PAS five, you're actually going to get going faster than that, probably around 24. So uh, the gear ratios are are different on a 20 inch bike than they are on a 26 inch. This gearing on a 26 inch bike would be pretty hard to, to turn 14 by 53 on a 26 inch bike would be quite a bit different than it is on this uh, it'd be pretty tall geared we'd call it but on this bike it's it's actually not very tall it should be a you should be in the hundred gear inch range normally so the bike uh, the 2.0 is going to be a little slower than the 1.0. If you were racing somebody and was turning the pedals 90 RPMs in PAS5, this bike's going to go faster. Facts of life. Just the way it is. Uh, the takeoff on the, the 2.0 is probably going to be a little faster because the smaller the wheel and the smaller the tire, the easier it is to spin up get going but the harder it is to maintain that speed and that's why they go in larger on mountain bikes up to 29 inches because although it's a little slower on the takeoff it's easier to maintain your momentum when you got that big wheel turning so uh, it's a little bit on the gear ratios on the bikes uh, I'm just trying to correct that video where I said they fixed the problem. They did and they made it worse. So, it's kind of sprinkling out here. I hope we're uh, not, well, I, we're not going to get no rain on the lens with it pointed down like that. But, um, that's the short of it is uh, gear ratios actually got smaller on the uh, 2.0 and they're larger on the 1.0 just due to the tire size change you could change it uh, put the four inch tires on the uh, 2.0 and bring the gear ratio up a little probably a little larger than it would be on the uh, 1.0 because the tires actually would be taller and you have a 56 to 2 chain ring now so keep that in mind uh, if you're running out of gear and you want the cheap fix, I was going to say tires, but the tires actually wouldn't be the cheap fix because there's no cheap tires out there. 
Um, keep in mind, if you go, decide to go to the 4-inch tires on your 2.0, you're going to have to get bigger tubes, too. The, uh, that 3-inch tube will actually be fairly thin if you try to make it work in a 4-inch uh, tire, and it wouldn't take anything to pop it. So, keep that in mind. Uh, I probably will get out and go for a ride, but I doubt Karen will. I'll put my rain jacket on and not worry about melting. So you guys have a great day. That's my Wednesday video. I haven't had to do any repairs lately. Um, I do have the uh, brake cables and stuff coming for Karen's bike. I'm not going to do mine yet. Um, going to reroute hers a little bit. I've had some ideas on what I'm thinking, I'm a, how I'm going to reroute those cables to make them so there's not so many bends in them, uh, but we'll see. Uh, I may not have no choice in it to keep it from rubbing on the tire, but uh, I'm going to try to take some of the bend out of the, the deal. And you guys will get a video, you'll see me doing it. And I may experiment before I actually change the cables with doing some routing difference on it. I can see right now, one of the bend problems is right there at the, where it goes through the loop in the frame in the back before it actually gets up to the brake. We remove that and maybe uh, zip tie it up. It might eliminate some of the brake drag. So, that's the video for today. I'm just kind of eyeballing that. I'm thinking that I probably could change that without changing the, the uh, brake cables. But I'm going to go ahead and change brake cables either way. Have a great day. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, sus uh, subscriptions, we're at 541, I think. Oh, we're getting bigger. We're getting almost to the point that I may be able to get some sponsors to buy some stuff. So have a great day.